welcome to How To Tuesday here at Squared Peg. It is the beginning of March Madness, and it is St. Patrick's Day, so we have a green basketball. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to create a Facebook ad. I was in a meeting today talking to someone from the Business Administration Program, and they were just curious how you would go about doing it, so I figured it would be um, a good How To Tuesday, and now I can send this video to her, and she can learn as well. So we're going to go to Facebook, log out of my own account here, I guess, and uh, just log in with your account. I'm going to do it from a fresh account, that way you can see the entire process here. Okay, so when you log into Facebook, uh, what you'll need to do when you create your first ad is uh, scroll to the bottom and click advertisers, or you can just go to facebook.com slash ads. So we're going to click there. And um, you can click and get started, get right into it if you want a little more about what you can do with their social ads. There's some more information here, or you can click learn more, but we're just going to get started. And it's really easy. First, um, if you want to make a page, you can use a Facebook page and advertise that. Or if you have a web page you want to advertise, you can just go straight there. So. Just going to say we want to advertise squaredpeg.com. Um, this can be any link you want. I would suggest setting up some sort of uh, landing page. That way you can track the analytics a little better. Um, Facebook gives you some tools to track that, but it's always good to have kind of a backup or um, see for yourself how it's working. So we're going to click continue now. Uh, this is where we choose our audience, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, you can really break this down. If you, uh, what I usually do, I do uh, say 15 to 18 year olds who are in high school, and you can see this dynamically refreshes to tell you how many kids you're going to be looking at here. So if I want to reach 15 to 18 year olds who are in high school, I'm looking at about 4 million kids. If I only want to look, say by state, we'll do Indiana, then I've only got about 89,600 to choose from. And if I wanted to drill that down even further, say kids who um, playing basketball is one of their favorite things to do. So now I'm looking at 200 kids. So you can get very targeted if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And we're going to add Ohio and Illinois. So now we're looking at about 514,000 15 and 18 year olds in high school who live in those three states. So that's who we want to target. Um, relationship status, I usually leave that blank. Obviously no workplace. And like I said with keywords, or if you want to do male, female, if you have a specific scholarship or anything you're trying to target, you can do that. So we're going to click continue again. And this is where we create our ad. Uh, all you need is a title, a body, and a photo if you wish to include one. There's some best practices and reasons for rejection that Facebook uh, suggests that you read here. We're going to skip those. So you can do any title here, and your body can be whatever you want. Come visit us. And then you just add a photo. There are some limitations here on what you can add, what you can put in. Uh, I'll just use Alex there, one of my bloggers. And for example, if I were to put an exclamation mark there, So there's Alex. Um, if I want to continue, it's going to say you can't do exclamation marks. So I'm going to take that. And it's also telling me there's invalid characters. Um, I would probably say it's that semicolon there. And so we'll try to continue again. So now that worked. So that's our ad. And we'll get to see it again later. So you can, you can review it. This is where you price your campaign now. You pay by click or by view. So if you're paying by click, you set how many you want to do for your budget and then how much you are willing to pay per click. It gives you a suggested bid here. I usually just do the highest because, um, as you'll see later, that you don't really get that many clicks, but the higher your bid is, the more impressions you're going to get. And you can choose to do it a certain date. Um, for example, I was promoting the um, Blue TV, and that only runs from 8 to 5 through the week whenever he's in the office. So obviously I didn't want that to run over a weekend. So that's another thing you can do. And that way you don't forget about it and it doesn't continue to run. 
time, so I always do that. Um, I've never used pay for view. I always go by clicks. Um, usually with pay per clicks, I've been averaging about 3,000 impressions a day, but you don't really get that many clicks, so you're still getting those impressions without having to pay for them, which is nice. And you can do your budget as low as $5, so I'm going to do that. So we're going to click continue. And that's pretty much it. It's going to show you a little preview here. Um, you can rename your ad just for internal use. This could be ad number one for Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. It's just going to give you a quick little rundown of what you're doing. Put in your credit card, place the order, and you'll be good to go. And you'll now see ads and pages under your applications over here. So after you've run it, you can just come in, click on that, click on add campaigns up here, and it's going to give you a total breakdown of how your campaign is doing right there. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I might get into some more specific details later, but I think that will be good enough to get you started. So I uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. See ya.